The president of the University of Education branch of the University Teachers Association of Ghana, that's UTAG, has secured injunction on the university's upcoming election for a pro-vice chancellor. The move, according to Dr. Frimpong Ketri Duku, is to demand due process from the school in the organization of the election. Dr. Frimpong Ketri Duku, who was once suspended by the school and later reinstated, says he is among others praying the court to compel the university to call for nomination, allowing interested parties to contest in the election. Pro-vice chancellor elections are conducted every four years. Let's stay a bit on this. Dr. Keche Doko himself has joined us on the telephone. Um, Dr. Doko, if you can hear me. Now, you're challenging this, this particular election process in the court of law. You say that due process is not being followed in electing the pro-vice chancellor. What, what was the process that was being employed which you're challenging? Hello? 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 I, I can hear you now. Yes, I, I can hear you now. I, I didn't get a question. I, I, I was I asking, now you are in court challenging the election of the pro vice chancellor. You say that due yes. process is not being followed in electing the pro vice chancellor of Invention of Education, whenever. Now, what, what process was in place which you are challenging now in court? Uh, uh, I'm challenging the process of uh, electing the VC as we have started in the past. Uh, this stems from the fact that our act and statutes do not allow any individual to restrain other members from contesting for that position. Our statutes and acts make it possible for every convocation member who feels he qualifies and is interested in becoming a VC to contest. But I've realized that of late, what we've done is to give an authority or permission to one individual to restrain other members by electing only three from the convocation members to be uh, voted for. Now, but, but, but previously, what was the practice until this, uh, <laughs> for the lack of a better expression, imposition that you are referring to? That is what I've said, that we have given... In the past, we have given the authority or the permission to the vice chancellor to nominate three members. And what I knew was that in the past, the vice chancellor used to nominate the senior most professors to contest for that position. Right. But of late, you don't know how the selections are done. Uh, for instance, the last selection that I restrained the, the, the management from going ahead, we had two individuals who were not re-nominated this time. So the question is, why were those two individuals uh, set aside? Because they are not on retirement. They have not reached the retirement age. So why were they not so brought along to be voted for? So if we have given individuals an opportunity to do as the favor by shortlisting, then we're expecting that at least fairness would have applied. But now that fairness is not being applied, then the statutes and the act must be implemented as a Okay, Doc, I want to thank you very much for your time this evening. This matter has filed in court to follow the proceedings and continuously update our viewers. Dr. Ketri Duku is the uh, UTAC branch president of the University of Education, whenever.